Last class, uh, we discussed K-map, five variable K-map also we discussed and we saw what is the difficulties there in five variable K-map. But as the number of variable increases, then it is very difficult to simplify the Boolean equation with the help of K-map. So then, the, what is the alternate method? So that is the one problem. Second problem is the K-map is completely manual. So we need to do manually, there may be a chances of human error. So in order to overcome this problem, the Quinn and the McCleskey two are introduced a one new method is called Quinn McCleskey method that is QM method. QM method. So this method is basically an algorithmic in nature. So with the help of algorithm, basically in the computer and all, if we execute that, it will give the result in a fraction of time. But the disadvantage of this Quinn McCleskey method if we want to do it manually, the procedure will be too lengthy. But apart from that, it is an algorithm in, algorithmic in nature and it can able to perform the oper operation in fast rate. So with the help of QM method, we can possible to generate the <coughs> prime implicants. That is the pos term, sorry, sop term as well as prime implicates. That is the pos term we can possible to generate with the help of QM method prime implicates as well as prime implicates. So now I will take one example with the help of that example I will explain you how to solve any uh, the boolean uh, equation with the help of QM method. So this is the, the given uh, boolean equation. So in a, some time they will give f of a b c d equal to summation m 0 2 3 6 7 8 10 12 13. Sometime you may get like this, the y is equal to this one, they will represent a bar, b bar, c bar, d bar, plus a, a bar, b bar, c d bar, plus a bar, b bar, c d, plus a bar, b c d bar, plus a bar, b c d, plus a b bar, c d bar, plus A, B, C, D, so 8, 4, then this is the 1, 1, so C bar, D bar, plus 13, this is A, B, C bar, D. Sometime you may get the equation like this. So now what we need to do, step 1 in the quinn mccleskey method, step 1, first we need to list list all the mean terms in binary form. For that we need to represent first it had mean terms and it is having a binary representation binary representation. So this I will make like this. I need to list all the mean terms and its binary representation. See initially it is having m0, m2, m3, m6, m7, m8, M10, M12, and M13. Now I will represent this with the binary representation 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 this is the its equivalent binary representation in the step 2 step 2 what we need to do in the step 2 we need to order this mean terms according to number of ones it contains 
reorder it according to according to number of ones how to reorder this according to number of ones now we will see that now we will reorder this according to number of ones so what i will do see this is and this is the mean term mean terms and this is the binary representation so here i need to write in the next table according according to number of ones it contains m0 it doesn't contain any number of ones similarly m2 having only one one similarly m3 having two ones m6 have two ones m7 three ones m8 having only one only one one it contain only one binary similarly 10 to 12 to 30 so this one i will make one segment and this two is according next segment so next we need to group two number of ones it contain m2 having two ones not m2 m3 m3 having two ones then m6 having two ones m10 is having two ones m12 is having two ones then again i will separate this 0011010 is 10 is 1010 12 is 1100 in the last segment we need to group three number of ones so in this three number of ones is m7 and three number of one more is m30 this two are comes in the last category so which contains 0 1 1 1 13 1 1 0 1 so this is the step 2 step 3 what we need to do i will tell you listen this step is very very important so once you know this step the later it's very easy to represent it mean terms binary representation see here what we need to do we need to compare this term with this term and this term what i am to say to tell is this is the segment this segment each and every term has to be compared with next segment each and every term so first what i will do i will compare this term with this term and this term with this term if there is a one bit change between this term and the this term only that has to be entered in the next table otherwise we are not supposed to so how to do that m0 and m2 i am comparing obviously there is a one bit change so this is possible to enter to the next stage that is 0 comma 2 and there is an one bit change that change i am going to be representing with dash next i am comparing same zero with eight is there one bit change yes there is only one bit change then this one also will take to the next stage zero comma eight then this will be dash zero 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 are you clear only one bit change is supposed to enter to the next stage this combination is over once that entered to the next stage yes this is completed this is completed and once it is entered to the next stage we need to give a tick mark as soon as you are entering to the next table you need to give a tick mark so then i am completing this stage now we need to compare now this segment and this segment comparison is over now we need to do this segment comparison with this segment i mean to say is this two need to be compared with 3 6 10 and 12 similarly eight has to be compared with 3 6 10 and 
now we will do one by one first i will do the comparison with 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 is there one bit change yes there is a one bit change what i will do 2 comma 3 and this become 0 0 1 and there is a change i will put a dash mark as soon as it entered to the next table, I need to put a tick mark. Next, 2 and 6, I need to compare. 2 and 6. In this 2 and 6, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 is that. So what I will do, again, there is a 1 bit change. So that's why I will take the next stage. Immediately, I need to put a tick mark. Then this become 0, dash, 1, and the 0. Next, 2 and 10. 2 and 10 is possible. Yes, 2 and 10 also possible. 2 comma 10. So then this become dash 0, dash 0, 1, 0. Similarly, 2 and 12. So 2 and 12 is not possible. So as soon as it enters the next stage, we need to put a tick mark. Then we need to go for 2 and 12. 2 and 12, it having more than 1 bit change. See here 0 is there, here 1 is there, here 0 is there, here 1 is there. So that's why we are not supposed to enter to the next stage. Now we need to compare 8 with all this. How we did for, for 2. Similarly for 8 also we need to do. 8 and 3 we need to compare. Is there 1 bit change? No. More than 1 bit change is there. 8 and 6? Yes. Again more than 1 bit change is there. Again 8 and 10? Only 1 bit change is there. So we can take 8 comma 10. 8 comma 10 is all the tick mark is there no need to put tick mark once again 8 10 what is 1 0 dash 0 1 0 dash 0 why dash dash is because of one bit change where exactly one bit change is there there we need to put a dash mark next 8 12 yes obviously 1 1 is there 0 1 is there only one bit change so we can take 8 comma 12 then this become 1 dash 0 0 all comparison over then we need to close this segment similarly we need to do comparison this segment with this segment so how to do this so again same 3 with 7 and 13 6 with 7 and 13 10 with 7 and 13 12 with 7 and 13 now we will do one by one first i will take 3 and 7 is there one bit change in 3 and 7 yes there is a one bit change only this bit is changing so i will take so 12 is covered already. I will put a tick mark. Don't forget, make a tick mark. Okay, otherwise, if it is not tick mark, then we need to take to the final PA chart. Okay, that's why as soon as it covers, you need to put a tick mark. Then 3 and 7 I am comparing. So yes, obviously there is a one bit change. I will take 3 comma 7. Then this become 0 dash 1 1. 0 dash 1 1. As soon as it covers, I need to put a tick mark. Then 3 and 13, is there one bit change? No, it is more than one bit change is there. Now I will come to 6. 6 and 7 I am comparing. Is there one bit change? Yes, there is a one bit change. 6 comma 7, 6 comma 7, 0, 1, 1 dash. 0, 1, 1 dash. Then 6 and 13, 6 and 13, more than one bit change is there. Not possible. Next, 10 and 7. Is the 10 and 7 is possible? 1 bit change is there. 2 bit change is not possible. 10 and 13, 1 same. 1 bit change, 2 bit change, not possible. Next, 12. 12 and 7 is possible. 1 bit change, 2 bit change is there. 12 and 13. Same, same, same. 1 bit change is, it is possible. As soon as possible, we need to put a tick mark. Then, 12 comma 13. Then, this become 1, 1, 0 with a dash mark. So here I am going to be winding the segment. So this is what we need to represent this step 3. Next with the help of step 3 again we need to construct step 4. Step 4 we need to follow same procedure. Step 4 we need to follow same procedure to complete it. Again here also we need to compare one segment with the another segment. Here also we need to do, see here we have a mean term, so binary 
representation. So now we need to check this segment I need to compare with this segment. Similarly this segment I need to compare with this segment. In this case it is pretty simple to comparing. See first I will take this term and I will compare with all these terms and is this required to compare each and every term? No. Here wherever the dash is there wherever the dash is there that corresponding dash where exactly in the next segment we need to find only that term comparison is more than enough no need to compare each and everything okay so wherever the dash position is there here the same position dash is available in the next segment we need to see that if there suppose in this case it is there so this 0 2 comma 8 comma 10 we need to check is there one bit change 0 1 is there 0 is there dash is there yes there is a one bit change so that point of time I need to put a tick mark for this and I need to enter that to the next stage 0 comma 2 comma 8 comma 10 the representation is that is dash 0 dash 0 next so other terms are it doesn't have dash in the same position next we need to compare with this 0 comma 8 in this 0 comma 8 here dash is there we need to check the same dash is there anywhere here yes here is there so then what we need to do so we need to check this whether the one bit change is there yes there is an only one bit change is there here one and this is the zero then i can enter this 0 comma 8 comma 2 comma 10 and that will be dash 0 dash 0 dash 0 dash 0 and further comparison is not possible and I am closing this segment. Next, so we have compared this comparison is over and this comparison is over. As soon as we were, once we taken to the next table, automatically we need to make it as tick mark. Next, we need to compare this one with this one. So in this case, <coughs> This one I will compare with this stage. See here dash is there. Same segment where exactly here dash is there. Here dash is there. First we will compare with this. Will it be one bit change this? Yes. There is a one bit change. That is this is the one and this is the one. One bit change is there. 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 7. And what is the representation? 0 dash 1 dash. 0 dash 1 dash. Why? Because 0 0 is there here one bit chain dash one dash the next we need to compare the next one is there one bit change is there yes more than one bit change is there so no need to take for take for the next table <coughs> next we will see for 2 comma 6 2 comma 6 dash is there here as the same position we need to find a dash is there yes here is there is there any possibilities a one bit change yes there is a one bit change I will make a tick mark this and I will make tick mark this so then it is 2 comma 6 comma 3 comma 7 and the representation is 0 dash 1 dash next I need to come here the here dash is there here anywhere dash is there no dash no need to compare now come to here here dash is there here anywhere dash is there no there not there so no need to compare then finally we need to come to this 8 comma 12 so 1 dash 0 0 is there so here dash is there is there any one bit change no see more than one bit change is there so no need to take for further so here i am going to be closing this segment so according to this segment now we need to label that whichever the term is not taken for the <coughs> next position see this is the term not taken for the next position i will give it name it as a and this term not taken to the next stage I will give name it as B similarly now we will come to this and we need to check this whether further now further more reduction is required or not see by seeing this we can see this see here 0 dash 0 dash 0 dash 0 dash 0 both are same and both having 0 to 8 10 0 to 8 10 so that's why we have a provision to discard any one of it so I will discard this because the same term no need to use twice. Now as I said we know that this is one segment 
this is one segment and this is one segment correct this is one segment this complete is one segment and this is one segment is will it be possible to make in the next step see is there any one bit change is there see here one bit change is there here more than one bit change is there next one more table is not at all required there itself we can possible to wind up if suppose is there any one bit change suppose if there is a one bit change again we need to write one more table but as such the more than one bit change is there so that's why no need to write one more table there itself we can wind up and here why i removed one of the term why because both the terms are similar so here i can give name for this as c and for this d i hope you all clear so now we need to represent pi a uh, min term uh, so we need to list all the prime implicants so next step is so now i will list all the prime implicants <coughs> prime implicants and its binary representation so in this case i need to write all the prime implicants and its representation so which are all the prime implicants in this one which i got 8 comma 12 and this i can write c here this is the position of a and b no need to write because nothing is there then this is the c bar and this is the d bar i think you all clear see this a is there first term i am noting down to the prime implicant so this is 8 comma 12 this is a b is not there c bar and d bar the next one is 12 comma 13 so this is a b and the c bar and we need to write its equivalent binary representation also 1 dash 0 0 this is 1 1 0 dash and the c one is 0 comma 2 8 comma 10 which is a is not there b bar is there c is not there d bar is there its binary representation 0 dash 0 Finally, two comma six comma three comma, or we can take other way also. So two comma three comma six comma seven, which is a bar. B is not there. C and D is not there. And this representation is zero dash zero dash. one dash this is the list of all the prime implicants now what we need to do now we need to draw a pi chart so now with the help of this list of prime implicants now i will construct the pi chart so here i will construct the pi chart this side i will write the pi chart so it indicates first i will write the all prime implicants and i will try to represent all the min terms so here i will write all the prime implicants so what is that 8 comma 12 is there is that a c bar d bar then 12 13 is there that is a b c bar then 0 comma 2 comma 8 comma 10 that representation b bar d bar is there then 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 7 is there then that is a bar c this is actually a a pi chart in this chart i am going to be representing all the min terms one which present over here then in this case all the min terms i am going to placing okay here i will cover so in this prime implicant chart so all this prime implicants i am going to be representing here so along with that whichever the min terms whichever the min terms are here 0 2 3 6 7 8 10 12 13 i am going to be placing over here this become m0 
एम टू एम थ्री एम सिक्स एम सेवन एम एट एम टेन एम ट्वेल्व एंड एम थर्टीन नाउ वी विल कंप्लीटली फोकस ऑन दिस टेबल नाउ वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी अदर रेफरेंस ऑफ प्रीवियस दिस टेबल इज एनफ टू डू दी पी आई प्राइम इंप्लीकेट चार्ट और वी कैन से दो एंड कॉलम डॉमिनेंस मेथड वी कैन अप्लाई हो हियर इफ इट इज पॉसिबल इफ दिस चार्ट इट सेल्फ वी गेट द रिजल्ट मीन्स नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम इफ एनी वन ऑफ द मिनटम इज नॉट कवर्ड सो देन वी नीड टू डू रो एंड कॉलम डॉमिनेंस देन वी नीड टू मेक वन मोर चार्ट लेट सी वेदर वी कैन पॉसिबल टू get the solution here itself or not now in this pa chart see 8 and 12 is covered in this case so i need to go for corresponding 8 i will make into mark there and next which one the 12 is covered similarly once comes to this 13 and 12 get covers in this case 0 2 8 and 10 similarly in this case 2 3 Six and seven. This is called one complete PA chart. Now, how to do this? How to reduce the number of terms with the help of this chart? I will tell you that. First, we need to see the column. In this column, if there is only one cross mark, straight away we can circle that, and that term is straight away. Enter to the final equation. This term is essential for my final equation. Straight away, I will take that into final equation. That is b bar d bar. Next, I will go to the next column. As soon as I am circling this, which are all the terms get covered here? Zero. I need to tick mark. Two get covers here. Eight get covers in this, and ten get covers in this. Now I will come to this column. In this column, already two crosses there. If two crosses there means we are not supposed to take. I will come to the next column. In this next column, in the third column, there is only one cross. Then it is also fit for the final equation. I will circle that and I will put a star mark. This should be there in my final equation. I will take this as a bar c. So in this which end all the terms get covers here? Two already tick mark. Three, six, seven. Now I will come to this because any anyway, of this is circled. No need to take this. This is also any anyway, of circled. No need to take. And now once we come to this, two is there. We are not supposed to. Again here one is there because one is there. It is already covered. This term. It is already taken to the final equation. No need to take. Now here two. I will circle this after circling. So we need to put a star mark. Which in all term twelve and thirteen. Twelve and thirteen get covered. So now we need to see once whether all the terms are covered or not. See, all the terms are covered. So now this is what is next. One more equation is this is a b c bar comes into that one. There are three terms are second and three terms are there in the final equation. This is what the final simplified or reduced equation. Now we need to cross verify this whether the whatever the result we got is right or wrong. so that we can easily perform with the help of k map so this is actually a four variables are there so we need a 16 cell k map so let's we will cross verify that whatever the result we got is right or wrong so i can do like this let's we will cross verify whether the result one which we got is right or wrong this is ab and this is cd 0 1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is actually a bar, b bar, a bar, b, a b, a b bar, c bar, d bar, c bar, d, c d, c d bar. Now we will map that. So here, so there from the problem, zero is there. Next, two is there. 
in the position next 3 is there in the position 6 is there 7 is there 8 10 12 13 once again we will cross verify 0 2 3 6 7 8 10 12 and 13 so now we need to check that so what we can do so now I will try to group this this 4 I will make a group then so what we are getting from this so this is the first term what is the term it is a a bar is common in this case so I will take a bar and which is the common here C a bar C yes a bar C is there here also a bar C is there next what we need to do so now here in all the corners one one is there so I will lock like this and this is the second one so what is this since according to the second one A is changing only the B bar B bar and in this case D bar so B bar D bar is there yes B bar D bar term is there now last so this I will make a pair this is the third group and in this case plus AB is there and here which is the common C bar ABC bar again ABC bar is there so this is how we can easily compare whatever the result we got through the QM method with the help of K map so both the answers are same this is how we can do uh, the simplification of any boolean algebra with the sorry boolean equation with the help of Queen Meklesky method